Indo berlaga di kaca MMA bakal tersaji di ajang Professional Fight Lodge atau yang dikenal dengan PFL. Pertama Battle of the Giant, Francis Ngannou akan berhadapan dengan Ryan Ferreira pada laga utama. Laga melawan Ferreira akan menjadi yang pertama bagi Ngannou setelah absen sekiranya 2 tahun lamanya dari MMA. Hey, now, I know I know that you're fighting against Francis Ngannou, but your stories have a lot of similarities. Humble beginnings to superstardom, both very dangerous strikers. Do the similarities between you two matter in this fight? Ah, tanto eu quanto o Francis trazemos uma bagagem, né? A gente que veio de baixo, é, tem um grande respeito e me sinto muito honrado aí em lutar com o homem mais forte do planeta. Francis, we're all excited about the long-awaited PFL debut. Standing across from you will be a man who's bigger than you, which you don't often see. A man who's just as explosive, has knockout power. Is Heina Ferreira the most dangerous opponent you've faced in a very decorated career? I would say he's definitely um, on top of the line, but um, I think my entire life, my biggest opponent has always been me. And then uh, I managed to to go through that big opponent all the time. And um, on Saturday night, I'm gonna give him for his money, so he should get ready. Quick follow-up on that. It, both of you have incredible power, and a lot of times people say, hey, whoever lands first in a fight like this will be the victor. With that in mind, will we see the Francis Ngannou ground game on display? This um, is um, uh, MMA fight, so everything will be on display. We, uh, we get prepared for everything, and yes, everything will be on display. I think on his hand, hand too, he might be preparing something because, uh, as I say, he's a black jujitsu black belt, and then I think he's not underlining my punching power as well. Hey, now I should ask you the same question. Francis has incredible punching power. He's very dangerous on the feet. So are you. Do we see the grappling skill that you've been working on for so many years? Uh, nós somos lutadores de MMA e estamos prontos para para qualquer área que for a luta. Tanto eu como o Francis também já tem mostrado aí. É, acredito que os fãs têm muito a ganhar com um grande show. É, dois caras gigantesco aí com um estilo bem parecido se enfrentando. Então estou muito feliz e ansioso para estar ali dentro da jaula com o Francis. Tim Wheaton, Low Kick MMA. Question for Francis Ngannou. Are you feeling a 25-second knockout or a full 25-minute fight here? Am I feeling for a 25-second knockout or a 25-minute? Well, uh, let's just say I'm going to fight strategically, you know, according to how the fight presents itself. Uh, in my career, um, only once I went for a knockout and it didn't go go work. It didn't work out for me. And the only time that uh, the uh, other time that I had a knockout, even in that 25 seconds, it wasn't something that was planned. So let's keep it authentic. I'm not planning a 25 seconds or whatever. I know I have 25 minutes, so I'm gonna um, lay my game plan down into that 25 minutes to win. I got a question from Francis. Champ, you have had no shortage of big fights in life, in MMA, in boxing. Where would you rank this moment, this particular battle, amongst those that you have had in your career? When, where, where would I rank, rank this fight? This particular fight, yes. Well, as for right now, uh, as is the uh, challenge that is ahead of me, is the biggest, you know. Um, He's the, uh, I mean, I have a giant, I'm going to be having a six foot eight guy across uh, the octagon that I'm going to take out. So he's the biggest challenge so far. Just have a question for Francis Ngannou. Francis, you often talk about inspiring the next generation of fighters. What's the most important lesson that you want them to learn from your journey? I think, um, the only thing to learn is the only thing that uh, I'm learning myself, you know, uh, is a grinding, is a everyday uh, battle. You, sometimes you know it, sometimes you say it, but there is a moment that you doubt about it. But uh, it's always uh, important to, rem to remember that life goes on. And um, the message would be like, you know, to keep going, stand up, doesn't matter how many times you fall, 
you can stand up and uh, it doesn't matter at the end of uh, what happened at the end uh, just by you standing up take holding your ground taking your position and keep going um, is a way of winning life so that would be my uh, my take on everything beautiful last question from me slightly different is John Jones ducking Tom Aspinall I don't know if John John is talking Tom Aspinall. I think John John would be the best to answer that question. But um, I think John John uh, does whatever he wants and fight who he wants. I think in the, he's, he's in the position to claim that. Yeah. Francis Quaker Fari, Talk Sport. Um, you're heavily involved with PFL Africa. We all remember the Three Kings era of MMA with yourself, Israel Adesanya and Kamara Usman. How will your role with PFL Africa help to propel Africa back to the center of the MMA universe? It's not the Three, King, three Kings era. It's not over, bro. It's still on and forever. So you should remember that. <laughs> How they say Wakanda forever. Um, hi, Francis. Um, do, do you feel like uh do you feel like you're representing, obviously, it's an obvious question, do you feel like you're representing a whole continent right now? Because a lot of people have been waiting for you to get back in the MMA uh, ring and get something done. So do you feel like maybe there's a little more pressure considering the time that it's taking? And one more question for Renan also. Uh, I want to know, does he feel a certain way because it feels like it's all about Francis and everything centers around him returning. Does it affect his mindset or he just doesn't care about it? Uh, you know, somebody tell me like uh, success is also required, success comes with responsibility and then uh, you have to face it. It's not a la carte. You don't have to pick someone and let someone aside. You know, you deal with it. Yes, there is a lot of pressure uh, now than then, than that maybe used, I, I used to not worry so much. No, no too much people counted on me. Um, and I wasn't very uh, worried about what, what the outcome, who the outcome could affect. You know, but it's also a good thing. It's also a proof of like uh, achievement of like a uh, success thing that you have done in the right way. And if I think if a man is able to like um, have that kind of the kind of uh, influence that we have on people, uh, on people expecting stuff to us, I think it's also a blessing. So, yes, it's a responsibility, but I proudly carry that responsibility. Question for Hainan. Hainan, um, with Riyadh hosting so many uh, incredible fights across combat sports, has Riyadh become the fight capital of the world? Com certeza, muito interessante esse essa abertura, né, que a gente está tendo aqui, é, trazendo grandes lutas, grandes campeões. Me sinto muito honrado e acolhido é, pelas pessoas daqui. É, já é a minha segunda vez e estou muito feliz. É, vai ser muito bom, muito interessante esse show e os fãs vão ganhar aí muito com, com tudo isso. And the same question to Francis. Francis, with Riyadh hosting so many incredible fights, you've been involved in so many of them. Has Riyadh become the fight capital of the world? Uh, I don't know how to, to rank that, but I know Riyadh is definitely on top of the uh, sport, uh, sport game right now, uh, whether it's fighting or other few. Uh, but uh, sport Kabiro, I don't fight Kabiro, I don't know yet. Fyodor Yemelyanenko said, said a few months ago that he would like uh, to have a boxing match against against you. What, uh, uh, what do you think about it? And second question uh, is Fyodor in the top three uh, best MMA heavyweights of all time? Thank you. No, I didn't think about it because, uh, first of all, I think they need a promotion to promote a fight and uh, never had a news from any promo promoter uh, for, for that fight. And uh, yes, I definitely think he's in the top three of all time um, heavyweight in the world.
Hello everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Al-Shawi, I am from Saudi Arabia with a local media. Uh, my first question for Ferreira, uh, what is your strategy to fight in this match? Uh, is it different or the same technique? Ah, não posso falar que o Francis está aqui do meu lado, né? <risos> Mas com certeza a gente fez um grande trabalho para para trazer um grande show aí para a galera. É, sempre com o mesmo estilo, andando para frente, estilo agressivo e como os fãs gostam. Ok, uh, my second question for Engano. Uh, welcome to Saudi Arabia uh, again. Uh, how do you feel uh, fighting here in this huge uh, match? Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, six million on the line. What do you feel about it? With a prize. What do I feel about what? Fighting in Riyadh or about what? Yes, about fighting in Riyadh. Next question. I feel good. I mean, uh, this is my third time in Riyadh and um, I've been enjoying the, the process, you know. Sometimes it didn't go my way, but overall, it was, a, it was always a good show. Always a mega show. Okay, last, last question. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Abdelaziz Mansour, uh, I'm from Saudi Arabia. Welcome, Francis. Uh, we're happy to see you uh, the third time. You are uh, unlucky in Riyadh uh, in boxing matches. Uh, what do you think about your fight on Saturday? I think my fight is going to be, um, I, I mean, I would not say a, ret a return to MMA, but uh, it's a big night for me to make a statement again and to prove, to discover myself um, and to prove like um, what I'm made of.